AITA if I refuse to de-baptize my aunt? My parents believe in the freedom of choosing one's own religion. My mother was raised Catholic, while my father believes in a God without participating in any church. I, 14, honestly do not care too much about the topic. To the dismay of my aunt, during my childhood, she constantly tried to pressure my mother into getting me baptized. Whenever I visited them, she would try to push Christianity on me. She would read the Bible to me and take me to her church, among other things. This made me very uncomfortable to the point where I did not want to visit anymore. I recently developed an interest in herbs and plants. This somehow convinced her that I practice witchery. Now she constantly switches between trying to save me and making a point of avoiding me. Most of the family thinks her silly, but like always, when she is acting crazy, everyone just accepts it. Since I did not budge, she focused on my brother. 5. He is friends with my cousin. 6. And therefore spends a lot of time at their house. On his latest visit, my aunt decided to make an appointment with a priest, forge my mother's signature, and get my brother baptized. After my brother told my mother about the incident, which my aunt told him not to do, she confronted my aunt on her next visit. My aunt proudly confessed to having saved my brother and a screaming match ensued. As I already mentioned, my parents strongly believe that everyone should be able to choose their own beliefs and not join a church until one is old. Enough to make an informed decision. To summarize my aunt's words, she could not believe that our mother was willfully condemning us to hell and that it was no wonder. I had become a satanic witch. She had to act because my mother obviously couldn't be brought to her senses and someone had to save the boy. In a moment of anger, I went to my room to get one of my pots. I have one pot in the shape of a skull and filled it with water. While they were still screaming at each other, I poured the water over her. Then I declared her to be now baptized a witch and the lawful wife of Satan. I will be honest. I enjoyed the expressions of shock and then panic on her face. She told me to undo what I did. I refused. Once she realized she could not convince me, she stormed out of the house. Now, she told the whole family about it and my grandparents and other relatives have been bombarding my mother with hateful messages. My mother says she understands why I did what I did, but that I need to undo it to keep the peace. I am supposed to make a show of debaptizing her and declaring her Christian again. I am just tired of everybody constantly talking about religions and fed up with my aunt and everybody's endurance of her. If she can just go around and baptize my brother, why can't I do the same to her? AITA if I do not comply with my parents' wishes? I really hope this is true. Because it's hilarious. Tell her to go get rebaptized if she's so worried and carry on being a delightfully weird person. The world needs way more of us. NTA. Actually, this is one of those YTA but justified situations. I'm not mad. You are NTA. And you are hilarious. You could post this to our petty revenge. For sure NTA. As someone who was raised very Catholic and now doesn't give one, your patents absolutely have the right mindset and NGL your aunt sounds insane. I think you handled that situation perfectly and I'd suggest performing more satanic rituals in her presence and see if she bursts into flames. If she does I'd love an update. NTA. And report your aunt to her church. If she's lucky, she'll just be kicked out. I've heard, admittedly secondhand, that people who trick a pastor into baptizing child without parental permission could have their own baptism revoked since they didn't follow the letter of spirit of what baptism is supposed to stand for. Just one question, how the hell you de-baptize someone? Like, throw sand to suck up the water? 
NTA. Also, since she's a Catholic, she should know that baptisms can't be undone. Now and forever she is a wife of Satan. NTA and also goddamn wish I could have been there. Not that it matters for your verdict. But had she actually read the scripture she claims to love so much she'd find absolutely zero support for either her behavior or her theology. NTA. You are one funny jellybean. Full kudos to you. Perhaps she should have remembered that what goes around comes around, and sometimes it goes splash. NTA. Your aunt is a complete off for forcing her religion on other and especially baptizing your brother. Without his or your parents' consent. As for de baptizing your aunt. Absolutely feeing brilliant. Best thing I've read all day. How tf do you de baptize someone? NTA. I am sitting in my car cackling. Which style lol. At this. I hope it is true as it is awesome. Let her figure JT out herself. Just as your parents cannot undo the damage she did. You cannot undo what you did. NTA. You can't just declare someone is not a Christian anymore or is unbaptized. An adult would choose to accept or reject Christ nobody makes that decision for him or her. You don't need to do anything and she doesn't understand her faith very well if she thinks it needs undoing. But she's out of line for what she did to your brother. NTA. I am screaming I love that you did this tears of joy thumbs up. NTA. What you did was harmless and any Christian clergy would tell her that. So it was an act of appropriate escalation. Definitely NTA but also. If she forged your mother's signature to baptize your brother. Look into reporting her to whatever her church is. From what I know, that's all really frowned upon in. Most? Churches would kick her out for that. NTA. If this idiot just talks to her priest they can explain what did or did not happen and assure her. She is still baptized Catholic. You can't de-baptize someone. That's stupid. I'm sorry your family only has a few brain cells to share among them. When I read that you recently developed an interest in herbs and plants, I though you might be interested in entering culinary school. If her faith was real, she would know that your baptism would have no power over her. Her superstition is surpassed only by her jaw-dropping hypocrisy. And shame on your family for reinforcing it. NTA. That was great. Now baptize her in the name of some pagan god. This sounds like a great bit for a comedy. I absolutely love how you handled this, NTA. I suggest offering to de-baptize the ant. Explain that you were reluctant to do so BC the only way to reverse the baptism is to set her on fire. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.